Hello and hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am the hostess with the Moses, Anna. How you guys doing? Everybody's doing good. Today's going to be a Dollar Tree haul and I'm going to share with you what I found. So the first two big items. Yeah, they're laundry baskets. And I like the fact that they're not solid on the bottom so they can air out because I do have boys, honey, you know, <laughs> if you don't raise some boys, you know. Okay, so I got two of those. But before going ahead, I want to remind you that I do have the a crafty challenge called the Hand of Friendship. Okay, and I will put the video, I think it's up here in Eye in the Sky or up here. It's one of these two places. And basically what you do is you're going to be tracing out your hand. You're going to be decorating it. Use some decorative paper, um, heavier stock, cardboard, whatever. You want to paint it. Do an artisan piece. You want to do a 3D. You want to do a flat. However you want to do it, it has to represent you. It has to have your name and your address, your favorite color, your favorite movie. And I have a whole bunch of goodies that are still sitting there behind me that I'm giving away. If you like to see some of the items I'm giving away, you have to go check out the video. You'll see it down there below as well. And you can have an idea if you want to participate or not. I'm collecting the hands of all my friends that I've made here on YouTube for these past six plus years. And I will be putting them in a photo album. Okay. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's do the foodie finds. Foodie finds first. Um, I did pick up two of the OSHA spray crayon apple. This is for me, 25 fluid ounces. I did get two of these. And today here in the state of Maryland, it's really hot. Tomorrow's going to feel like 110. Um, and it's that house is hot. It's hot. I got my fan going and I got some additional fans going on up here because you know how the heat rises. So it's the house is warm already. It's it's hot. I can only imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow. Lord help us. But um, the next thing that I found was the Columbina. Yeah, Columbina club crackers i saw oh look it matches my shirt Ooh! so <laughs> this is my favorite color green baby Woo! this is actually not a shirt this is a dress it's from shan it's an actual dress and these great little open sleeves oh yes honey they give me life uh, but i wanted to give these a go i saw a lot of y'all hauling this and i was like i wonder if they're any good you gotta find out so i picked up one so first time i saw them there I've never seen them there before. I just haven't. Yeah, I haven't. Now, this is for the boys. This is new, at least for me. This is Fago, but it's cotton candy Fago. Cotton candy flavor. And it's a four pack for $1.25, which is awesome. And I've never tried their cotton 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 candy flavor. Uh, so that's going to be a nice little try thing for them to, to do. Hopefully they like it. They had like two other flavors, but I picked up the cotton candy. If I go back and they still have some more flavors, like different flavors, then I'll pick up a different one for them to try. Then in the toy department, toy department, I did pick up the Hot Wheels, the Batman Gotham City police car. And um, that's for my twins. And then I got the Buzz Lightyear uh vehicle for my twins as well uh, they like they like hot wheels vehicles and these are hot wheels as you can tell so i got those uh, for the kiddos then they also had the blind bags back out again for uh bakugan so i got two for my twins and they do like bakugan so that was nice to see that they brought these back Technically speaking, I could keep these and just tuck them away for Christmas and put them inside of a stocking or, you know, on top of on top of a present, you know, a little blind bag. So I don't necessarily have to give these to them now if I don't want to. I got options. I got options. Then let's talk about fall. <laughs> I love fall. And if you didn't watch my video last night, yesterday, it's called Evenings with Anna talking about a lot of different things and I'm also sharing and going through some items of a project I'm going to be making with um, Dollar Tree items. I share that there and I was looking for beads and charms and all that through a box that I found 
while I was talking and sharing some of my thoughts about what's going on in the world and what have you. Okay. So if you want to go check that out, then you'll have a sneak peek into what I'm going to be creating. Go check out that video. It's called Evenings with Anna. But I did buy two more. I know these were so cute. If you missed my last video, my last two videos have been really nice with um, all, all the fun goodies I've been able to find. I, I recommend you immediately take these off because they will mess up your fabric if you leave them on. But these are the ones with the Nomi's that I didn't know they were so stinking cute. And for those that are the first time visiting, just know that the fabric is nice and large. And it is upside down. Let me fix that. It's nice and large. So you could do lots of things with this. Um, making bags, pillows, um, accents, um, napkins for your dining room table. Lots of things, you know, that you can do with this. So I wanted to get two more because I had some thoughts of what I wanted to do besides the current project I'm going to be working on. So I just took my sticker off. Now I can place it back here with the other one. Because these are the things I'm working on. Okay. Yay. Then in, um, again, the crafting department, they have these craft kits. They had different kinds. But I picked out this one because it's six pieces. And it looks like you can make one, two, three, four. It looks like you can make four, five, maybe six, six different six different scarecrows so your kiddos stay upstairs baba your kiddos can build these okay and you can make them look any way that you want this is just a fun little thing to do and includes everything that you need includes everything i don't know if those pieces are sticky though this is does not include glue so you will need some glue all right but these are fun that's a fun thing to make then I picked up one set of the stickers and they're so pretty. Um, the only thing, the only thing getting, getting lit this weekend are my scented candles. You know, they had these last year, but they're just so pretty. These are going to look really pretty in a planner or in a card or a junk journal, whatever. I do all those things. So yeah, be on the lookout for these. They're really pretty. Look at that candle. That's absolutely gorgeous. Could you imagine sending a card to somebody who loves to make candles and using that little verbiage with a little candle? They'll be tickled pink. I know I would. And then there's even a little coffee mug here with a little house on it and a little pie. And it looks like some donuts or something. I just love this one. I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Then the next thing I was on the lookout for was the chair covers. I mean, everything I'm sharing with you is $1.25, okay? And these chair covers are two different variations. So they do come in this black hat and an orange hat, okay? Now, I'm not going to use these for chair covers. No. Let's pop them open. Let's pop some bottles. I always say let's pop some bottles. Let's open this up with this my trash bag. And let's see what they really and truly look like. Because I haven't seen anybody actually open them up yet. They just kept them in the bags. And I really wanted to see what they look like to get a gist of it. Okay. All right. So, is it, okay. It would go nicely on the back of a chair. And I'll show you how. Has a little, almost like the little piece here is just hanging. Like the little ponytails hanging. But look, it's kind of on the short side in the back. So just a FYI, it's kind of on the short side. But that still would look really cute on the back of a chair if you have some chairs and you're just trying to have a little fun with the kiddos. I wanted to put this over a cushion on top of, on right there on my, um, I can't even talk, my porch, my front porch. I wanted to put it a cushion. And I was thinking it was the kind you could slide because normally the back goes all the way down and then you slide it down. It, this one doesn't do that. It stops right there. So technically speaking, because I got two, if I really wanted to make it into a cushion, I, it could, I could do a hot glue, two of them back to back. So it doesn't matter which way it goes. You'll still see a little cute pumpkin. I could do that. I'm just giving you guys some options if that's what you're planning to do. 
to use them as cushions for like a sofa or something. It's not solid all the way in the back like the other ones were for Halloween. This this is not. So that's the orange. Let's look at the black one with the little black hat. I just want to see what it looks like opened up. This is cute. And they see, I thought it was brown. I thought it was black. It's actually a brown hat. It's not black. It's brown. Okay. The stuff's falling. Trash. Okay. So she looks like that. I hope you guys can see it all. Can you see it all? So it has a little hat. It has a little ponytail sticking there on the side. And there's a little face. And again, it's, you know, just like the other one, it's not completely, you know, in the back the way I thought it was going to be. It will just sit slightly on a on the back of a chair slightly so yeah I got two of these so I could do the whole hot glue thing and you know put it stuff a pillow into it and still have the look that I want because I got two I'm glad I got two because I probably would be short if I went back to look for it I probably won't find it but just a heads up okay they're still really cute though it's gonna be a little work required then I did find these and I was girl. So this is considered hanging decor, right? So it's the little beads and they had the ones with the pumpkins, the orange pumpkin, really nice, big, fat ceramic pumpkin. They had this one with the leaves. So pretty. And as you see, you see the leaves three times and then it goes down to like a tassel. So pretty, right? And then, of course, you can hang it from somewhere if you really need to. So you got your leaf. And then you got your silver pumpkin. Now, I, I picked out the silver because I just thought it looked more elegant. It looked a little bit more sophisticated versus the orange one that looked a little bit more. It's, just, it's like geared towards a more whimsical. Maybe for if my kids were younger, they would see it. They'd be like, oh, that's cool. You know, but now I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to make my house look a certain way. So these were perfect for that. So cute. And they are a metal and they do have them back to back. So it has a very nice finish look to them. Okay. So you're not going to see the string in the center. They finished it up very nicely for $1.25. Trying to tell you. Then I did pick up another sign. And this one says, family makes this a home. And I thought it was really pretty, but it needs something. And I do have, you know, the little border stuff that I can hot glue myself. Because it needs something. It's I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the little house. That's why I got it. Because I thought it was super charming. I hope you guys can see it good. It's in a little house. Super charming. All right. But it needs like. Oh no, where's, did I move it already? I moved it already. It needs, you know, you can either put the little brown bead things and get another little thing of brown beads and just hot glue it, or you can do the little rope or whatever you have just to give us an oomph because it needs something, right? I mean, it's really cute by itself. Don't get me wrong, but it needs a little something, at least for me. So I'll probably do that here tomorrow because I'm looking around and I see a couple of things that I can use. All right. So that is everything. Go check out my evenings with Anna and my two previous Dollar Tree hauls were off the shizzle. Try to tell you they were really good, actually. They were really good. Go check those out and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.